What's up everyone? Vu of Envu Films back with another video using my body to block my sleeping son on the couch because I'm a trash Asian father. If he was awake, I'd be making him work for me, you know, checking out the uh, camera, making sure things are in focus, things, things of that nature because, you know, I'm all about the child labor because I'm Asian. And speaking of Asian, I want to talk about this new Ulanzi tripod today that uh, I want to recommend you guys buy if you're looking for the best possible travel tripod. And yes, tripod sounds very unprofessional to all of you dudes who use sticks and stuff. And because I said tripod and not sticks, I'm somehow lesser of a uh, videographer, filmmaker, cinematographer, D-bag, whatever you want to call it. You keep using your sticks and continue to film stale ass uninspired commercial videos with harsh ass key lights, you keep doing your thing. With that said, let me talk about my travel tripod. Today, I want to show you Ulanzi's new tripod. It is called some confusing ass name that Ulanzi has not been able to figure out yet, but it's okay. They're very innovative with creating new products. And then when it comes to their name, they just forget how to use their creative mind. But uh, here's the little box. Um, it is the Ulanzi TT09 Video Go Travel Video Tripod. Um, yeah, so you can get this tripod in three different versions. This TT09 Video Go Travel Video Tripod. You get three different versions. One that is a straight Arca head. One that is a straight F, one that is a F38 Falcam uh, head. And one that is a Ulanzi claw head. And if you're not familiar with what these are, Arca, F38 and claw are just different types of uh, quick release systems. Um, Arca is one that just slides in and out, probably the most least secure uh, quick release and probably the slowest one, but like the most used. So if you're not invested in any um, quick release system, just get the Arca version because you could end up just buying a quick release attachment for F38 or Claw if you want to. And F38 is a quick release system made by Ulanzi Falcam and Claw is another one made by Ulanzi Falcam. So yeah, this is the tripod. And of course, like typical Ulanzi fashion, this is a very well-made tripod. And again, uh, I'm not going to uh, hesitate to tell you that this is the best travel tripod out of any travel tripod. Simple because of the design the sturdiness and just build quality the whole nine yards. So Ulanzi has, strangely enough, it also have, they've been creating a bunch of these travel tripods and they've all been fantastic. So we have one right here, the older one, the Ulanzi Komen one, which is like almost like a hundred dollars more than this. But I feel like this is better quality and overall in terms of like the sturdiness and just better, uh, more usable head. You know, this one kind of has like that peak design head that, you know, you release like this and it kind of spins around, but it's not really like a video head. So if you wanted to use it for like professional use and use like your travel stick, you know, you could use this head like so, and it has like a fluid tilt head and it has a fluid pan head and it has the quick leveler that uses like a similar type of latching system to help you level off your shot quickly and then lock it down. It's fantastic. And if you want to like make the overall uh, tripod even smaller, you could actually just take this uh, handle off, you know, by twisting this off like so. You take this handle off and now it's a very small form factor and you could just take it anywhere. And of course you could still use it as is um, without the handle, no problem. 
But there's something special about this handle too. Inside this handle, are small drill bits, Phillips heads, uh, flat heads, Allen uh, key, Allen heads, um, all in here. And, and then if you twist this off, you have your little attachment where you put the heads on. And bam, you always have some tools on hand when you're out on these shoots if needed and it's built right into your tripod handle. Uh, pretty slick, pretty innovative, typical of Ulanzi fashion. They thought about all these random things and the name of the tripod is TT09 Video Go Travel Video Tripod. How is there, how is someone, you know, thought this through and then, anyways. Um, it'd be a lot easier for people like me, YouTube reviewers, to review these things if the name was easy to remember and I'd have to read the box every time I wanted to say, Ulanzi TT09 Video Go Travel Video Tripod. Um, next time, Ulanzi, you know, I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys, you know, always sending me things to try out and then not even like asking me for a video and all that stuff. Um, if you need help, like coming up with a name for your next tripod, your next product, let me know, you know, shoot me an email and say, hey, Vu, like, what do you think we should name this particular item? And I'll gladly help you out free of charge. Um, so you know, just quickly showcase, this is another one of their tripods. Um, gosh, like all these tripods have been so good. And, you know, if Ulanzi just created one and didn't create any other one, like it'd been fine. But every time they have come out with a new one, the new one just did some things just slightly better than the previous one. So again, like this one is great, but it's kind of pricey and I'm not sure why but it's a great tripod regardless. And then they have like this other one here, um, the Photo Pro one, which I wanna say is probably the cheaper one. Let me just double check the price. Yeah, it's a, so this one, this again, Ulanzi X Photo Pro X Aircross F38 carbon tripod. It's a great tripod, it's 21995 and the Ulanzi X Coleman Zero Y uh, carbon fiber tripod is uh, currently 329. And this newest one, the Ulanzi TT09 video travel video tripod is 259.95. And if you're like in the market for a travel tripod, um, I would recommend you just go to Ulanzi and buy one of theirs. And if I were to pick one of the three, I would pick this one and it's not even close. Like I only showed you those certain features of the screwdriver attachment, uh, the head, you know, you know, just straight, really solid video head. Um, I actually use at a wedding for one of my tripod cameras and it held up fine, really nice. It was windy. It was on a pier that was somewhat shaky because of the waves, the water and all that stuff. And it was fine. And of course it has like the classic latching system where you just extend your tripod really quickly, lock them down. And then of course, match like that. Not only have I used it out um, for weddings, but you know, I take it fishing with me and use it as my tripod for fishing. And it's stable, you know, regardless of wind, obviously quick to set up um, and of course quick to level, especially when I'm like on like a hill, a hill or like a grass, you know, it's really hard to like get your tripod level without like this quick leveling head, um, which Ulanzi has built in. So yeah, this, you know, top of that, it's like straight carbon fiber, just high quality stuff. 
once again from Uranzi. Um, no complaints with it, you know? And of course, you could also like take it apart and put it upside down, the whole nine yards. Got a little hook here that you, you, t you know, take off right here to, you know, if you want more stability, hang a bag here, no problem. So they have additional quarter mounts here if you want to put other items, 360 camera, um, you know, DJI, put a, put a DJI Pocket 3 on there with a magic arm, whatever. Uh, it's a really nice tripod. Everything about it is just, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, even, I don't have any other negative things to say about this tripod. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it again. If you want to buy a travel tripod and you want the absolute best one to buy, you want to buy the Ulanzi TT09 Video Go Travel Video Tripod. It also comes with this bag. It's a nice high quality bag out of the highest end of highest Chinese sweatshop. And uh, it also comes with spikes for the bottom of your tripod. So you just unscrew the rubbers and you screw on the spikes at the bottom of the tripod and you're good to go. That said guys, I hope this video helped you make a purchase decision on your next travel tripod or your first travel tripod. Again, this one comes highly recommended out of me because hey look, you can trust my um, insight and you could trust my opinions on these items, all right? I would not recommend you anything that I would do not use on a daily basis. I've used them, I've used them at weddings, I've used them at corporate shoots. Uh, yeah, they are definitely my travel tripod, but uh, it's definitely also very professional. I use it at my professional shoots. This is definitely my go-to travel tripod but it's also my go-to travel size sticks because I would not hesitate using this in a professional environment because it's that solid. And I shoot with Sony mirrorless cameras that don't require some big ass sticks. That said guys, till next time, lighten up. Hi man, what could that? This is actually the Condor Blue Cage for the Sony FX3, FX30. This thing is built like an absolute tank. It has a leveler here. The handle has a record button. You can't go wrong. Small Rick send you a Sony ZV-E1K for review. You do that yet? Nah, man, I don't got time for that. This is a $70 cage. I featured it really quick in one of my videos, but I'm not gonna do a whole dedicated video on it. Oh my God. You're a trap. They send you hay for free. You need to do full review right away. I don't care if it's free or not. It's a $70 cage. I'm not about to spend eight hours doing a YouTube review for an item that is $70. If you want to be the best, if you want to be professional, if you want to continue collab with Small Rig, you need to do full review. It's kind of interesting that Small Rig, a company that relies on videographers as their main customer base, buying their accessories, yet at the same time, Small Rig doesn't even value the work of their main customer base, which is videographers. They say you unprofessional. Is that right? Let me show you. Okay then, can you send a message to them for me? What message? This. I don't